Welcome to the start of a new school year. I love being here with you. It's fun to see the energy and perspective each of you brings. My love for you is an incredible year full of spiritual growth and unforgettable experiences. Today I want to share some thoughts that have really touched my heart. I've been reflecting on Elder Patrick Kieran's recent talk from his past general conference which explores a powerful concept, God's relentless pursuit of each one of us. Elder Kieran reminds us that God's love is active and persistent, never giving up on us regardless of our struggles. We see this beautifully in so many scripture stories. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus tells the story of the prodigal son. Despite squandering his inheritance, the son is warmly welcomed home by his father who runs to embrace him and celebrates his return with a feast. Another moving story is the widow of Nan. Her only son has died, leaving her in a difficult situation. Luke describes Jesus traveling from Capernaum, where he had healed a centurion's servant, to the city of Nain the following day. Jesus travels a challenging 30-mile uphill journey to reach the widow and restore, restore her son to life. Both stories highlight God's unwavering commitment to, to, lovingly and, to loving and helping us, no matter the circumstances. I reached out to some of you to share your experiences of feeling God's relentless pursuit and each person was able to respond with touching stories. One young woman described her journey through mental health challenges and uncertainty about whether she was ready to start school. The Spirit guided her, and she received the help she needed through small miracles and answers. She was then able to attend BYU-Hawaii. Another student shared how, even though her major issues remain unsolved, she noticed personal signs and timely help that reassured her of God's attentiveness to her prayers. Answers came gradually, matching her faithfulness and understanding of revelation. I believe she found God's love by actively looking for signs in her life. Similarly, another student felt God's relentless pursuit through a series of comforting personal encounters, like a surprise hug from a child and a kind gestures at the temple that deeply reassured them of his love. Additionally, this student recognized that God's guidance often leads us to greater blessings than we anticipate, teaching us to trust his plan over our own. All of these stories show how God's pursuit of us can show up in both big and small ways. Each experience highlights how personal and specific his support can be. As college students, balancing daily spiritual growth, classes, work, and social life can sometimes feel overwhelming. We may sometimes feel that God is distant. There was a time recently when I felt lonely. I was missing my parents, siblings, and my friends. After praying to Heavenly Father about my struggle, good friends from different times in my life reached out to me through calls and texts. Heavenly Father was reminding me that even though they are far away, they are always there for me. I felt love from them and my Heavenly Father. My message to you today is that you are not alone. You being here at BYU-Hawaii is an incredible, is an example of God's relentless pursuit of you. This university is more than just a place of learning. It's where the Lord actively guides you towards growth and happiness. 
Everything here, programs, teachers, experiences, is designed to support you in your education, life, and spiritual journey. You are here because you are special to the Lord. He has a unique plan for each of us, and he believes in your ability to bless many lives. Your presence here isn't just a coincidence. It reflects your worth and the trust the Lord has in you. As we read in Doctrine and Covenants 98.3, all things wherein you have been afflicted shall work together for your good, and to my name's glory, saith the Lord. This promise reminds us that our challenges and efforts are part of a larger divine plan. I love this quote from Sister Linda Reeves, who served as the second counselor in the Relief Society General Presidency. She beautifully captures the essence of our trials and the eternal reward that awaits us with this thought. I do not know why we have the many trials that we have, but it's my personal feeling that the reward is so great, so eternal and everlasting, so joyful and beyond our understanding that in that day of reward, we may feel to say to our merciful, loving Father, was that all that was required? President Nelson urges us to resolve to be resolute. The Lord loves effort. The Lord loves consistency. The Lord loves steadfastness. The Lord himself shows these qualities through his consistent, steadfast, and relentless pursuit of our happiness. We love and believe in you, and we're excited to see what you'll accomplish. Your time here is part of a bigger plan, and you play a crucial role in it. I pray that you will keep striving with faith and determination, knowing that you are supported and valued by those around you, and most importantly, by the Lord's unwavering love for you. You are following the path that the Lord has lovingly prepared. Please believe in your own incredible worth as a disciple of Jesus Christ. He has great things in store for you. I know that Heavenly Father loves us. We are his children. He sent Christ here so that through repentance, we can learn and grow and become more like him. He wants us to return to him. I know that as we pray and ask for his help, and strive to be disciples of Christ. His help will come. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>